Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I'm going to show you all how to pull the Signalis files out of the game and then load them into Unity so you can explore the game files how you so want on your own. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. First thing you're going to have to do is install yourself an Asset Ripper software. For this video I will be using the Asset Ripper software from GitHub. The link specifically will be linked below. It was suggested to me by Kirk from the unofficial Signalis Discord. It works quite well. I had no issues with it. And again, I'll have the link to it attached below. From here, we actually need to pull out the files. So to do so, you're going to want to find the game files of Signalis on your PC. On Steam, this can be quickly done by clicking the local files button. Then open the Asset Ripper program and drag the Signalis data folder into it. This will begin an extraction that will take quite a bit. At this point, take a break and do something else as it extracts the game files. After waiting a bit, return to your PC and you will see the extraction is finished. From here, you're going to want to export these extracted files into a brand new folder in a location of your choosing, an act that's going to take a decent bit of time. If you are someone who just wants to explore the PNG asset files and do something else with those files, you now have them and that's the end of the guide for you. However, if you want to import these newly acquired files into Unity, well, there's an extra step for that. To do that, you're going to want to first install Unity Hub. This is the central launch device for Unity and is available free on their website. This install will take a bit of time, but once it's done, you're going to need to install yet another software from inside this. Seeing as Signalis was not made in the newest version of Unity, we need to instead install the version of Unity that it was made in. I'll have links to all these installs below, but specifically you're going to want the 3.36 version from 2020. Once this version is installed, we are practically done. Click the open drop down and click add project from disk and open the folder of the extracted files. An inner folder called exported project is what you're looking for. Select this folder as the project and after some importing, you'll be able to open Signalis in Unity. This so will let you export various assets and locations to your heart's content in a way unavailable in game. However, it is important to remember that much like debug information, no info gathered this way can actually be used in theory or theory crafting. But hopefully this guy was helpful. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all, well, next time.